the Bush doctrine. If you do it, it's appeasement. If we do it, it's diplomacy. In our fourth story tonight, President Bush today lifted some of the U.S. sanctions on North Korea, a member of the Axis of Evil, about which Vice President Cheney once said, we don't negotiate with evil, we defeat it. Mr. Bush said he lifted the sanctions after extensive multi-party negotiations, including the U.S., evil, China, Russia, Japan, and South evil. Bush's appeasement to evil included lifting the provisions of the Trading with the Enemy Act and 45 days from now ending evil's status as an official state sponsor of terrorism. Mr. Bush defended his weakness, claiming that diplomacy with America's enemies works. Multilateral diplomacy is the best way to peacefully solve the nuclear issue with North Korea. Today's developments show that tough multilateral diplomacy can yield promising results. And so I'm, I'm, it's been a... You know, multilateral diplomacy is difficult at times. Just two years ago, the White House ridiculed the Clinton administration for its previous efforts at diplomacy on this very issue. Bill Richardson went with flowers and chocolates, and he went with light water, light water nuclear reactors, and he went with promises of heavy oil and a basketball signed by Michael Jordan and many other inducements for the dear leader to try to... to agree not to develop nuclear weapons and it failed. Of course, Kim Jong-il did not have nuclear bombs until six years into the Bush administration and despite Mr. Snow's contempt for the Clinton offer of oil, National Security Advisor Stephen Hadley today confirmed that part of the current U.S. offer includes jet fuel. In return, Kim today gave China a partial declaration regarding his nuclear program, promised access to facilities for verification and released 19,000 nuclear documents which U.S. officials will now translate into English from their native evil. Mr. Bush compared today's capitulation to his previous deal with Libyan strongman Muammar Gaddafi after Libyan agents blew up a plane load of Americans out of the sky over Lockerbie, Scotland. We'll turn now to Hillary Mann Leverett, the former National Security Council Director for Iran and the Persian Gulf. Great thanks for your time once again tonight. Thank you for having me. I don't mean to mock engaging North Korea. I'll even applaud the administration for getting done what, what it's gotten done. But how on earth can they do it while they insist that engagement with tyrants is automatically appeasement? It's a very good question. Um, you know, as a realist, I support this deal. I support the progress on this deal with North Korea, as I supported the deal with, with Libya when I was in the Bush administration, <laughs> and as I continue to support and advocate a similar deal with Iran. But for this administration, particularly at this point, this is pure hypocrisy. Less than a month ago, President Bush went to Israel, stood before the Israeli Knesset, and invoked Holocaust imagery by calling these type of talks appeasement. He and the presumptive Republican uh, nominee, John McCain, have both called these types of talks appeasement. But of course, these are the types of talks that actually work to minimize threats and allow the U.S. to take advantage of opportunities worldwide. It worked with Libya, it worked with, uh, I think it would work with Iran, and it is working with North Korea. It is hypocrisy in terms of the politics. There's also hypocrisy in terms of the substance. Keep in mind that on Iran, the big precondition, the big thing that we insist Iran has to do is suspend uranium enrichment before we'll, before we'll even talk to them, mm -hmm. let alone have a deal with them. This deal today goes forward not only having talked to the North Koreans, but an actual deal with actual rewards, even though North Korea gets to continue its uranium enrichment. And, and do we also do something else with this by, by refusing to talk with North Korea and now doing it in earnest after they have a bomb? Uh, do, do we worry that the administration has given the incentive to rogue nations that, you know, get the bomb and that will force us to the table? Yes, absolutely. Particularly in this case. I remember in the first term when I was at the White House, Secretary Powell at the time made the terrible political mistake of going public saying that our policy with North Korea would be to continue the talks that had been initiated under the Clinton administration. For that, he was scolded in the, in the, uh, in the, inside the White House internally and then was, was forced really to go public to apologize for making such a mistake. Of course, then when the North Koreans tested their nuclear device and demonstrated to, world, to the world that they had enough material for six bombs, then we were willing to sit down and talk to them, have a give and take, come to a deal, and defuse the crisis. You mentioned Iran. Does this change anything today with the Bush administration and Iran, or do people like Dick Cheney see no connection between some sort of successful negotiation with South Korea, North Korea rather, and not bombing Tehran? Well, 
that's a very that's an important question. I mean, I think what's happened here is there's a demonstration that unconditional, direct, bilateral talks actually work to defuse crises, to deal with our adversaries, and to t to take advantage of opportunities. We have been unwilling to do that with the Iranians. So here, I think the Iranians will take the message that they need to up the ante both in terms of their rhetoric and their action. And then that's the message the Iranians are getting. Internally, inside the U.S. government, my concern is that the, for lack of a better word, hardliners, epitomized, I think, by Vice President Cheney, they don't ever give away nothing something for nothing. Mm -hmm. I think in terms of their agreeing with this deal on North Korea today, we could very well see, and my concern is that we could very well see a more militaristic push on dealing with the Iranians. So, Potentially an, another, unnece another unnecessary war dealing with Iran because the administration is not really f coming clean with the American people in terms of what works. Unconditional direct talks versus their their ideas of what could work in theory. So we may have been seeing internal diplomacy with uh, with the Republic of Cheney in addition to what we just saw with Kim Jong Il. <laughs> Hillary Mann Leverett, uh, former Absolutely. staffer on the National Security Council during the current Bush administration. Once again, great thanks for your time. Thank you very much.